What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out another budget friendly device. The one that I have today is called the Realme 5i and this is a phone that you can buy for about $150. This is also the global version of this device. So what do we get for that price? Well first of all and what impressed me the most is the 5000mAh battery that we get inside this device. So on one charge you can go for between 2-3 to three days and out of that you can get about 16 hours of screen on time. That's right, you heard that correctly, 16 hours of screen on time. And I have to say that that's quite impressive for a phone this cheap, not to mention that it's better than about 99% of the phones that I've tried in the past. We also get a Snapdragon CPU that's paired with 4 gigs of RAM. So this is a Snapdragon 665 and uh, this is definitely a power efficient CPU and even though it's not the fastest CPU out there, we still get a decent enough um, Antutu benchmark score. So we get a score of about 167,000. And you know that if you get a score like that, the phone will do okay for most applications and for most games available in the Google Play Store. We also have a 6.5 inch screen. Now the resolution of this screen is only 720p and of course that has to do the great um, screen on time that we got but unfortunately the screen doesn't get super bright so if you take the phone outside in direct sunlight well the screen doesn't look that great but aside from that the colors do look um, great the viewing angles are good but I wish the screen would have been a bit brighter. The phone's body is made out of plastic and in a way that's a good thing because if you're gonna drop the phone it's not gonna break as easily but um, at the same time it doesn't feel as premium as a phone that has glass on the back or um, a phone that has the back made out of metal. But overall it doesn't look um, bad for a phone around $150. On the back there we also have a physical um, fingerprint scanner and um, all you have to do is touch the fingerprint scanner and the screen um, will unlock and um, the scanner um, works good as well. We also have four cameras but we'll talk about the cameras in a bit. Moving to the bottom of the device there we have a 3.5mm audio jack so you can plug in some headphones, we have the holes for the microphone and then we have a micro USB charging port and I'm not sure why they decided to use a micro USB charging port. I mean how much money were, the, were they saving using one of these ports over a USB-C port? Like a few cents? Charging the phone takes about two and a half hours as well, so keep that in mind. If you're in a rush, you're gonna have to give the phone some time to actually charge it. Next to that, we have the holes for the speaker, and that's the only speaker that um, external speaker that the phone uh, has. The speaker sounds good, but whenever you're watching a video or playing a game, it's super easy to cover that speaker. So keep that in mind as well. On the left hand side we have the volume keys and uh, the slot for the SIM card. Now this phone can take two SIM cards and an SD card at the same time and I think that's very helpful. And we're going back to those four cameras on the back of the device. So we have the main lens, we also have an ultra wide lens, then we have a macro lens and another lens that's used for portrait mode pictures. So four cameras on a phone that's $150. The phone has a night mode as well. Now I took some pictures um, at night and the pictures look decent but of course you're not going to be able to compare these pictures with the pictures that you take with a flagship device. So the nighttime pictures do look a bit um, grainy. I like how the pictures taken with the macro lens um, look. They do look somewhat unique and um, you don't usually get a macro lens with a lot of um, devices these days. And uh, the pictures they're gonna take with the ultra wide lens do look better than other budget friendly devices that I've seen in the past. And of course all the pictures that you've just seen or taken um, with this device. Now the phone also supports um, 4K recordings. So you could record video in 4K. Now if you check the manufacturer's website it says that the, the videos, uh, video recordings um, have any stabilization. However, from my tests for 4K recordings and 1080p recordings it doesn't seem to have any type of any stabilization unless they call that somewhat um, any stabilization, any stabilization. But you'll see, we'll see what I mean in the two sample videos that I have for you. This is a super quick video recording done um, with the Realme 5i. So the maximum recording resolution for this device is 4K, but unfortunately we don't get um, IMI stabilization at this resolution. I actually don't think we get IMI stabilization at the 1080p either. So I'm gonna pan right for a bit, and back left, and I'll walk for a bit. So this is how a recording from this device would look like. 
So this phone runs Android 9 and on top of that Android 9 we have what's called Color OS 6. But I have to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Color OS. Mostly because um, you get a lot of um, apps pre-installed, apps that nobody's ever gonna use and then you get a lot of pop-ups for like uh, games or apps that you should install and so on or themes that you should install and so on. So I'm not a big fan of Color OS. I would prefer something slimmer than this like um, Oxygen OS, something that you find on um, OnePlus devices. Aside from Color OS, the phone does perform quite good for pretty much everything that you're gonna do with it. If you're using any apps, so Facebook for example, scrolling up and down um, through your feed um, works great. If you're using any games on it, um, it does work great. So the Snapdragon 665 that we have inside it is powerful enough um, for pretty much everything that you're gonna do with it. So really no complaints um, about the performance aside uh, from that um, Color OS, which is not my favorite um, operating system to call it that. Moving on to the GPS unit inside it, well it only takes a couple of seconds for the phone to find your location and once your location is found it doesn't seem to lose it. So the GPS unit inside it works great. We have all the sensors that um, you would find in um, more um, expensive devices and all the sensors seem to work good. But unfortunately the phone doesn't have NFC. So you're not going to be able to make payments um, with this phone. It does support um, dual band Wi-Fi and of course 4G and the speeds over the 4G network and the Wi-Fi were decent enough um, as well. So to quickly conclude this video, for $150 you can't exactly go wrong um, with a Realme 5i. I mean um, we get a 5000 mAh battery that um, offers amazing screen on time. We get pretty good um, performance from that Snapdragon 665, even though I'm not a big fan of um, Color OS. We get cameras that are better than I was expecting, because I wasn't expecting much from these cameras, but um, yes, they are um, better than um, I was expecting. Unfortunately, we get a micro USB charging port at the bottom. I'm not sure why they did that, but at least we have a 3.5 mil audio jack. Oh, and the screen should have been a bit brighter, but again, if we would have had better specs, the better screen and so on, the price of the phone would probably be higher. So for $150 you cannot go wrong with the Realme 5i. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.